and uh i'm wearing gloves too so you probably everybody freak out oh you got shorts on yeah i got got flip-flops on too see them ugly feet they are sunburned it is about 98 degrees in here so it's hot as balls juice right here ready to go got our mask the improvised painting situation here got a light i've been going over this thing for the past 30 minutes or so with a fine tooth comb because once you spray clear on it it's done you know, you can't take it off so we got did this whole thing i went over it with the little tack cloth here i'm still gonna hit it again before i spray it all right so shaking up my can here this is the actuator this is 2k clear it's two parts just about 50 to 51 percent humidity in the shop you could have fooled me though because it's so hot in here i'm sweating uh it's currently about says it's 91 degrees uh so pretty hot probably gonna dry really fast look everything's in the prep so if you don't prep 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 you won't have good results so i have cleaned and cleaned and cleaned this thing i had the fan going up there to circulate some air through here but i turned that off because i don't want it sucking dust all through the shop so I'm gonna minimize walking around in here and I'm gonna spray a light tack coat is what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm just gonna get heavier and heavier with the layers. So once you got this good and shaken up, you're gonna put this at the bottom like this. And you're just gonna slam it down on the counter. Well. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. So some squeezed out. I've never had that happen before. So I hope we have enough activator in here to, to get this stuff hard. So, so upon further inspection, it looks like there was only a few drops that came out. So I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure there's more than a few drops of activator in here. So we're gonna gonna shake this for a couple minutes and then I'll click back to me spraying. All right, so I got some eye protection. I've shaken this about as much as I care to shake it. I'm kind of done shaking it. So we're gonna get a mask. If you're wondering, I'm a respiratory therapist by trade. So I know what I'm doing. It's coat, cat coat. timer for 10 minutes all right it's been, it's been 10 minutes I'm gonna sit back up here doing a little bit heavier coat now That's coat two. You probably see me lean out a lot heavier. So we're going to let that dry some more and then we'll hit it again. Now for the third coat. So we're going to lay it on just like you did the second coat. We're going to lay it on good and thick. All right, third coat. All right, guys, so third coat, it's been about 15 more minutes. As you can see, starting to get slicked up. We're gonna do one more coat, it's looking nice. It's got a little roughness to it, but I think this next coat will cover all that up. That's looking real glassy right there. So headstock is coming along, not too bad. There's the back, ow. I want to just knock it all over with my stupid head. It's coming along. It's shine to it. So we're going to coat it down good with this next coat here. And see how much, how far we can take this can. Maybe we'll get another two coats. I don't know. We're going to keep going until the can runs out.
All right, so that's coat four. I probably have just enough left where I can go over the headstock and go over the uh, back where the stinger's at because those are raised up. So I want to get plenty on there so when I go to level sand that, I don't have any fear of eating through it. So we're gonna give it another 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back and spray the headstock. And then I'm gonna try to see if there's enough to maybe hit the top one more time. All right, dudes. This is after the fourth coat. So look at that. Starting to really get some good shine to it. It's getting really dry to the touch. It's been only been about 20 minutes. Ow, hit my head again. I don't learn, do I? Start to see, look, I can see myself in it. That's slicked up, no trash in it, which is awesome. So I think I have just enough spray. I'm gonna try and spray the headstock a little bit more to get those letters covered. And that's, and if I have more, I'll hit this top one more time, just, just because. And it is so hot in here, it's almost 100 degrees. So it's 50% humidity, 93 degrees in the shop. So that's why it's drying so fast, which I'm fine with. So this sucker in 24 hours should be rock hard, ready to sand. So let's spray this a little bit more. Hey, that's cool, look. Now, man. So that's my, uh, all the way from China. I got a Gibson metal logo coming in for that back, for that back switch plate. So we'll go get that in a minute. Anyway, so this is fourth coat on the guitar. Gonna be hopefully the fifth coat over the letters on the headstock. Alright, we're out. That's that. So to sum up, that's almost a fifth layer on there, five layers on the headstock, front and back, and four layers all the way around. So that's enough to get us started to where we can start kind of sanding it down and getting it flat. And then we'll let it dry till tomorrow and the humidity should be good tomorrow and then we'll spray it all over again so let's go to the mailbox so we're killing two birds with one stone so i'm cleaning this golf cart up that's in another video while we're letting the guitar dry so we'll walk out here to the mailbox all right let's sit out here and just uh check out what we got here for the old guitar so this is all the way from china look at that man that is really nice doesn't have any screws with it but it's all it's all metal no scratches super nice it's gonna give it just an extra pop because so i ordered the uh stock gibson back plate so it's going to go the back is going to be black with this black on there with a the little silver and all the pickups and all that stuff for silver too and i might end up doing black pickup covers i'm not sure but right now i just wanted the back black because i thought it would look better so now the only thing is i hope this fits in the hole because the other one the gibson back plate didn't fit the stumac um cut out hole so i had to sand it down a bit which it fits fine now hopefully she fits just right. All right, guys, so it's day two. I just busted another can of this. Got the guitar hanging up right there. So uh, I'm not gonna film every step of this. You spray it, give it 15, 20 minutes, spray it again, 15, 20 minutes, spray it again, until I run out of juice. So the goal is to get about four, good, four more good coats on it. Um, if you wanna know how to spray it, go back to the first part and watch that. So all we're gonna do is just be spraying it right now. So not a big deal. All right, we just did the first coat. So we're gonna give it about 10 minutes. 15 minutes probably can go back in there and spray it again all right so i'm going in for the third coat this stuff's so strong when you walk up to the door of the shop you can smell it i've been running the fan on and off to try and knock the smell out so let's go look and see what the, what the uh, second coat looks like all right okay here's coat number two it's much better look how flat that looks see how shiny and deep that looks so this is the sixth total coat so it's got a real deep look to it already. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a quick look at right quick. Make sure I don't have any fuzz balls I wanna take off of it. And then we'll uh, go back to spraying. There'll be coat number three. So we got perfect spraying condition. 
So I just did a third coat. Got the fan going. So that's the third coat. No, yeah, third coat. Look how glossy that looks. Got a little bit of trash. Oh, it's okay, it'll buff out. A little trash in it. That's okay though. For not having a spray booth. I got a little thick down here, you can see. It's got a little, have a little bit of a sag in it, but my last one did the same thing. I just wanted to make sure I got it really heavy down here. So when I go to sand it, now I have plenty of meat to sand, to sand through. But she's looking really, really glossy. Anyway, that's three. I got probably a quarter of a can left, so probably just enough to go back over the body and the headstock in the back. And that's probably what I'm going to do a couple more times. All right, so we're about to use the last little bit, I think. And we're going to hit the body and the headstock and behind. If I have some left, I'll hit the back of the guitar again. But this probably will finish it up. So I'm going to get started. All right, so that was the fourth and final coat so we have about eight coats of uh of clear and once this gets sanded down again and buffed out it's going to be a deep deep looking deal so eight coats of 2k clear is a lot so it's going to look really good it's already looking awesome so i'm going to let it sit here and do it stay until tomorrow you can see yourself in it. Hello. So this is it. This is what I wanted. Flawless so far. I'm very happy with everything that's happened so far with this. So when we go to put everything in, if nothing goes bad or crazy, we'd be in good shape. This is per perfect. All right. So that's it. About to get out of here. Let the uh, fans suck some of this crap out of here. And, uh, I'm wearing gloves too, so we probably everybody freak out. Oh, you got shorts on? Yeah, I got got flip flops on too. See them ugly feet? They are sunburnt. So I'm about to go outside and cut some grass now. You gotta do what you gotta do. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. If you get anything out of this, please watch these videos. I see people. I don't know anything, but I see people doing the same stuff I screwed up on, and you need to. Watch videos, watch videos, watch videos, and then you need to try to do your guitar stuff. You just don't go winging it and go crazy.